psychologist, psychotherapist, and I come here. I came here from Poland, uh, Krakow. I work with children who have a parent in prison and with families. And um, just to sum up, really, um, thinking about the village, who is in the village, who are the members of the village. We said about so many different organizations, institutions, um, supporting children, but I would like to concentrate and focus on the children themselves and what kind of support they can be um, for each other as a understanding, not just as a receiver of support providing by professionals, but also as a support provided by peer. So this is the, you can uh, see the pictures of the children when we ask, um, draw a picture of your time and playing with your parents, with your mom or with your dad when you come to visit. And this is what they drew. And we can see that on few pictures there are the same symbols. And I will go, go back to the symbols in a second. But if we ask ordinary children who, didn't, who don't have an experience of having a parent in prison, the pictures would look different. There wouldn't be a table on the picture on the main stage. As you can see on few pictures, there are clocks. So this is, I was surprised myself. I know that the prison uh, visits are limited with time. I know that we as organization, non-governmental organization organizing children uh, visits, um, our visits last two hours. Normal visits, just one hour. And the children, they don't know what probatia, this is the organization I'm from, means, but they know <laughs> Probatia visit is two hours. So this is a special visit. One girl said, five-year-old, there is no way that a five-year-old child knows the concept of the time. But she was saying, today is my special time with daddy. I, we have two hours. <coughs> I was speechless when I, when I heard that. Um, so supporting, so sharing the experience is very important. You know, us, it's really important also to receive uh, support, as we said, on different levels, from different professionals. But knowing that I'm not the only child who have a parent in prison, I can talk about it with other children, not just with adults. It's on a different level talking to adults, talking to professionals. But having other children in the room, in the same room, seeing, okay, I'm not the only one who comes to prison. After quite some time of the children um, coming, uh, being uh, participating in our projects, they know each other's names when they come to prison visits. Sometimes they sing happy birthday. A few weeks ago, there was a birthday of 15-year-old girl who said, please don't sing. Um, it's a teenager, so don't sing happy birthday. And um, so, but we couldn't control it. You know, we took a little cake and uh, so the dad came, the dad was uh, uh, in prison. The dad came to pick up the cake, put the candle on, and took the, the cake to the table. And everyone, the, the other 12 families, everyone started singing. <laughs> and I said sorry to her. Uh, uh, but I asked her afterwards, so because it was actually her birthday, um, how are you, you going to celebrate it? Are you celebrating with your friends? And she said, they didn't even remember that it was my birthday. Yeah. So having those 10 or 12 other families singing that birthday, even though she said, I didn't like it, you know, and it was embarrassing, I think it was very special. Yeah. And prison visits can be special, you know. Prison <coughs> visits hold can be a special place, can be a safe place. And it's very important that we make it safe, that we make it, um, where children and families and everyone can feel dignity. And having, talking about play, you know, it was, we talking about the importance of play right from the morning. Um, but this is the reality, you know, the plays very, play very often, I don't know in other prisons, but in Poland it's very, um, the concept of inviting children to prison is very new still. It has been new for the last, I don't know how many years. Uh, and 
it will probably stay uh, new because the changes are going different directions, but I'm not going to talk about politics. Um, so this is, that's where the play happens, around the table. And one girl said, on the last children's visit, uh, she said, while playing with her daddy, she said, my dad never wanted to play boarding, uh, board games with me when he was at home, but now we are playing. I have two hours of playing uh, the, the games with him. And just to finish, that, see, uh, that sentence just stuck in my head. Uh, seeing the potential, not the problem. 